and welcome back to the Los Alamitos previous show. As mentioned earlier, Bonacore was a very impressive winner of the Go Man Go Handicap. Munis has already won three derbies, and Cesar Alba has been the regular rider of two of the best horses in the country in Munis and Bonacord. And currently, Cesar Alba second in the jockey standings, only 12 wins behind Cruz Mendez as we enter into this week's action. Earlier this week, we caught up with Cesar Alba to talk about his great success and the top horses he's been riding here at the current season. Well, since July 1st of this year, no quarter horse jockey at Los Alamitos has won more races than our guest today, Cesar Alba. 32 victories, Cesar, a winning percentage of 27%. You're just going on a hot, hot streak, and you're riding top horses. How has, the, how has it been to uh, just get into this hot streak for you? Um, it's been nice. Uh, Munist has definitely helped a lot, uh, and just every, all the trainers are giving me opportunities with live horses, and... and uh, I've been riding confident, and they've been they've been running good. You're mentioning Munist. Tell us about this horse. I mean, he's just can't do anything wrong. It seems like every start he does better and better and better. Is that how you feel when you're on this horse? Yeah, he's definitely improving, and uh, he is getting better. I think he's he's more mature and, and and he's running straight, and he gives you all out every time he runs. So it only makes it easier for me. Getting on a horse that's won three derbies puts you in the spotlight. That helps the business, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it gives me more confidence, uh, and I think trainers out there see uh, what I can do with with a horse and a horse that that's that's done the good, and he's he's uh, he performs he performs in the in the top races, and and I don't let it get to me. You know, I just ride him cool, and and I know I know I'm confident that he's going to get the job done every single time. Now you've also had some changes in your personal life, po very positive changes. Can you tell us about those? Yeah, um, I got married uh, two year, a year ago, and um, I, I'm expecting a baby here in November. So it just it just brings the circle all together and makes me uh, happy. Yeah, very very happy. Now last weekend you had a very happy moment in the Goma and Go handicap. You ride on a court to just a spectacular victory. Tell us about that victory. Uh, it seemed like the race was pretty tight early on, and then he took off. Yeah, he uh, he got bumped away from there and. And it was just like that. I mean, he got bumped, he got a little trouble, I strained him out, and he was just gone. I mean, once I saw that we had, we were in front of Last to Fire, and, and, and all the, I didn't see anybody there, I just figured they weren't going to catch me, and it was all over. And you hope the fun continues. This weekend, you're riding Nelly Delaney in the Gray One, Millie Vessels Memorial Handicap. She's one of the best in the nation right now. N Nelly Delaney, very few horses. Can probably keep up with her at 400 yards. Yeah, you know what? Juan was telling me that She's probably uh, just as good or better than Bonacord, so it gives me even more confidence coming into the race. And uh, I've never ridden her before. I got on her this morning to take her to the gate, and she's just a beast. She's ready to go. Yeah. Well, again, the best of luck to jockey Cesar Alba. You know, and Cruz Mendez continues to be atop the standings, but this could get interesting. This hottest Alba is right now. He's only 12 behind Cruz Mendez. Well, a 12 could be maybe you know, eight by next weekend, maybe six, but uh, this guy, I mean, he could no wrong Munis, and even he won a bottom course, so this rider is now riding the top horses here. Well, he's riding on the top of his game yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a good race. I still have to maybe give Cruz Mendez a slight advantage because he's been our leading jockey, yeah. but the way Dialba's been riding at a high percent, we certainly have to respect the kind of mm -hmm. success he's having right now. He's riding with great confidence, and I put out on Twitter last week that I think of all the jockeys here right now, he's been the most consistent. It really sits a horse well, Les. Yeah, and also, I mean, remember Munis as a two-year-old, very green, and since Diablo has wrote, written, written up, uh, was it uh, this horse he just talked about, um, Munis, that this is a horse cannot lose with the Cesar Diablo award. Right, and she's going to be riding Nelly Delaney this week, from what I heard, and the oh. Millie Vessels as well. That's right. And she yeah. won the Los Alamitos Winter Championship mm -hmm. earlier this year, so all signals or all signs are perfect right now for Diablo to continue yeah. to have a big year.